on your screen you see a problem. List the terms of the following sequences. In previous movies I showed you how to define a sequence, how to identify a sequence, how to generate a sequence and so on. Now I'm going to guide you through solving this problem. What is given? You're given the nth term, a sub n is equal to 3n squared minus 4, and you're told that n lies between less than or equal to 4 and greater than or equal to 1, and you're asked to find or list the terms of the following sequences. So you head up the table, n, and a sub n. Now pause the movie and do the exercise. But before you start the exercise, you have to ask yourself a number of questions. Problem-solving questions, what are they? Do I understand the problem? Have I seen or done a similar problem? Yes, you have in previous movies. Now what can I apply to this problem? What approach can I use to this problem? Can I use a similar approach? What does the answer look like? These are the questions you ask yourself to bring to the forefront of your consciousness what you've learned about sequences. Great. Now give it a shot, pause the movie, and work the problem out. Great, have you done so? Now let's see. We set up a table, two column table, N and A sub N. In this part of the table, n lies between 4 and 1. So we start with 1, and we plug in the values when n is equal to 1 into this expression here. So we get 3. Where you see an n, you plug in the 1. 1 squared, because you have n squared minus 4, and that works out to minus 1. Then you plug in the value when n is equal to 2, and you get the expression is equal to 8. Here the n has been replaced by 2. Likewise, you do the same thing for when n is equal to 3, it works out to 23. When n is equal to 4, it works out to 44. So the terms of the sequence are minus 1, 8, 23, and 44. So there you have it, minus 1, 8, 23, and 44. Now we'll do the second part of the problem, where it is a sub n is equal to 3 times 2 to the nth power. Now there are no constraints on n. In the previous movie you saw n like, um, fell between the 4 and 1. Here there are no constraints, no limitations on n. You plug in the value when n is equal to 1, you do the same thing here. You ask yourself the questions, the problem-solving questions, the bust of the problem. Do I understand the problem? You've done a similar problem before, just recently. So can you apply the same principle, the same approach to this problem? Yes, you can. What's the difference between this problem and that, the, the previous problem? On the, in the previous problem, there were restraints on n. Here you have no restraints. So we plug in value for n ranging from, let's say, 1 to any number. When n is equal to 1, we get 6. When n is equal to 2, works out to 12. When n is equal to 3, works out to that, 24. When n is equal to 4, works out to that. And we can continue because there are no constraints on n. So you have a sequence, 6, 12, 24, 